welcome to another edition of Ghana's Strongest. And today, we are bringing you an eviction episode. If you have been watching the show, then you know that eviction episodes are always fun, always intriguing, always exciting. And sometimes the unexpected happens. And that's exactly what we are bringing you in this particular episode. We have four different challenges and... We'll be going through the likes of the Keck Toss. We have the medley that will be including, um, you know, about four different weights of two pairs, um, 120 meters. All of it is just one challenge. And so when we come to the beach, you do know it definitely will be very, very interesting. And today we are inside La Boma Beach. My name is Thierry Nyan. This program is brought to you by Mixi Choco, Chan Hot, Gassem, the nation builder, Dragnet, our official uh, healthcare and medical um, you know, providers and deluxe paint. And we'll be going straight into the challenges very shortly. Remember, the commissioners of the show are Dan Budu and Foster Bafo. A big thank you once again for joining us. The next 60 minutes or so, you will be treated to a lot of games that men play. Gassim, with over 50 years of experience, has various grades for various jobs. The Gassim Extra 42.5N is suitable for ultra-high strength structural application like bridges, dams and high-rise buildings. The Gassim Super Strong 42.5R was made for high structural applications like precast concrete and block manufacturing. The Gassim Super Rapid 32.5R is here for normal building foundations like strip foundation and other ordinary concrete works. The Gassim Super Cool 32.5N is best for all block laying, tiling and other mortar works. Never believe that one grade of cement can be used for all jobs. Choose Gassim Cement always. Gassim, four cement grades, excellent customer value. Gassim, the nation builder. Charlie, what makes it choco? Hot! Makes it choco. Charlie, hot. Coco, Womo. Charlie, hot. I call it this way. Nessie, I say, yeah, I don't know. What? Manji school for Nisika, they are the future generation. And now, five guys, you say, Omunyina, Jomo Wallet, Manji, Obieska. My Charlie, cool, crap. What? I don't know how. Come on, you're Charlie, cool, oh. You're Charlie, hot! They say, mix it choco, and I can't be. Some things are best taken hot, like delicious creamy mixing. Mm. 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 Grammy, and the miniscal. Massa, with all due respect, and now we're Hey, Sanders. Mix it choco now in a new pack with a great new taste. Mix it choco, mix it coffee. Channel hot. This advert is FDA approved. <laughs> what the <laughs> you say? <said? laughs> Oga! Okay. You don't make mistake, yo! Ah, Oga! Oh, sorry, you don't know. Why are you making me you paint your house now? Ah, bring my house shine like your own now, shoe. Oh, gay, gay. Johnny just come. My brother, when you go to back the page, don't be left, don't be right. Go straight and grab the luxury I like you paint. Ah, ah. Wahala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Either rain or shine. I've been a boxing champion for over 20 years and used the Lozzy acrylic paint for over 12 years. And I can tell you, it's still the best. The Lozzy acrylic paint. Paint is good champion. Welcome back here to Ghana Strongest. Welcome to a sunny, windy afternoon here at the Laboma Beach inside Accra. And that's why we're bringing you this episode of Ghana Strongest. My name is Thierry Nyan. This program is brought to you by Mixi Choco, Gassem Cement, Deluxe Paint, and Dragnet. And also remember that, uh, you know, we are bringing you four different challenges. And like I said, we have the Keck Toss, we have the Sack Loading Race, we have the Last Man Standing, and also the Medley that is full of dumbbells and kegs and logs. We'll see exactly how that will go. But for now, we are going to, uh, you know, see what these 10 gentlemen will be doing with the Keck Toss or in the Keck Toss. There's a very tricky one, experience will tell. But let's see if all of them will be ex able to execute exactly how the commissioners are instructing them to. A 
Give me the exact Amos. Chilling. Chilling. Has been a rep from the Western region in the last couple of events that we've held. Shown lots of problems. He came third, and of course, another burgeoning star, Abbas Salo. Stay on the line. Okay. Right. The first one properly executed. On the line. He's hustling with the neck that has to be do with 25 kilograms. Now I know that these are one of the events that. Happens to have been his Achilles heel, but his determination. He has one minute to be able to execute all this. I'm sure he's been able to go over 30 seconds already. Oh! No. That There's happens to be a still up hustle to him. 25 kilograms of pure weight. Right. Mr. Godfrey Cobula, you are next. Can you get into the arena and prove your metal? So, as that. Season 12, Ghana Strongest is for you. The first minute, is 23 eh? kilograms. You are supposed to complete all that in 30. You got it wrong, right? Yeah. All right. So that tells you that he just underrated the 23 kilograms. He's been able to do that of the 25. All right. 23 is gone. 17. Another 25 kilograms. Oops. He nearly got it. But two, so far, I believe that in a very good time, he's trying to get another 20. Oh, man. Without him being able to complete that of the 25 kg, he can go on to the 30. But hey, you never know. Oh, I think his energy is stopped already. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, he is done. Two of the characters. Two in 21 seconds. All right, two in 21 seconds. Next is Abbas Salu. Abbas Salu happens to be the tallest of all the athletes. He's about six foot three inches, probably six foot four. He tells us that he used to be a hundred meter runner when he was in school. Let's go. Right, he are still not getting the technique right. He should be able to get this thing over the head easily. No. So you realize that height has to do, has little to do with how well you would be able to get this thing over the head Oh man. He bends, he's supposed to be standing upright and held this or hoist this over. Oh my word. This is crazy, man. Commissioner Dan is looking at his time. 
and we really don't know whether he would be able to even get one of the head of trouble. No. I think that Abbas has still not been able to master the technique. All right. One minute is over. Next, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ivan Stoviaku. is what he's about to contend with. He's a first timer. No? I don't know whether it so happens that because they are in the sand, they are really hustling to propel their weight, that is their lower body, to be able to get this head all over. It has not been easy Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Ivan Sovieko, a rookie who qualified from Kumasi. Wow, this character, for some reason, is becoming an Achilles heel for most of the athletes. It has to do with technique, not brute strength. Tavia could try. All right, next, ladies and gentlemen, is the turn of Mr. Asa. happens to be a rookie from the western region first time trying to get this done no not as encouraging but he's a very determined athlete and i know he's not going to give up so commissioner dan tells him that the time is up oh he nearly 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 I think that the technique has been a bit of a hassle for these athletes because at 23 kilograms they should be able to get this in over. He hasn't given up though because the time is still not over. No! no. <laughs> he nearly cheated with the line. Commissioner Dan has told him that no. No. That is not the way to go. All right. Time is over. He calls himself Balo Tally. Balo Tally. Let's go! Nitaki aka Balotelli on God. My last challenge, Ale, I was so grateful and really enjoyed because it was not easy. But I was able to make it. There are some of the challenges that we never even tried at a gym or even do it before. But we were able to overcome it. Yes. And I really enjoyed it uh, in my last, my last challenge. Today being the everything day which, which means someone has to go home today. And you know, Balotelli, <laughs> I believe I'm not going home, you know, guy, Charlie. I'm fully ready, like a lion that is hungry. Yes, and I'm going to face all the challenges and make sure I stay 
and I'm going. Trust in me and believe me, Balotelli. I'm going to make you proud. On God, I will make it. All right, so Balo, let us see what you got. Balo has filled in his very first attempt, but he still has more than 40 seconds to be able to execute that. No. Balo Tally. Whoa. Now he's tried every trick including diving but it was still not able to get this thing over no commissioner dan is looking at his time no too bad balotelli My name is Bright Apia, the only policeman in Ghana's strongest. You can call me the SWAT man. Yeah, last challenges uh, I almost because uh, honestly I trained very well. Uh, I had the opportunity and the chance to train very well, and I'm hoping to get the first this time around. Today being an eviction day, honestly, I don't think about eviction because uh, I have all the experience to escape in all evictions. My plan is to grab the title but being eviction day I don't even sleep and think of it. It's none of my business for now. Brad Apia you are next. Whoa solid performance. Solid performance. Second one gone. Third one is gone. They said show them. Show them. Oh, man. Oh, okay. For some reason, third one. Three in. Whoa, three cats tossed in 21 seconds. Jeffrey Akufu has been able to imbibe every instruction there is. The first toss, 23 kilograms. Solid one done. Second one done in record time. Third one done in record time. That's it, Brian. You know, oh, oh. Brian, you know, oh, oh. oh man. Three. Three in 22 seconds. Whoa, Brian narrowly pipped him by a second.
Edwin Kennedy. Edwin woefully attempted this particular one. That is the first time he's ever trying anything like that. Almost. 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 If he gets the technique right. Whoa! That is impressive from Kennedy. Wow. Which means that he has a strength back. His technique. All right. His method a little bit on after does. But he hasn't given up. Commissar Dan is concentrating right now. No. No, you are not supposed to score. You are supposed to what? Hoist that keg over that elevated head -over. Right. Um, we really don't know what he was trying to do this time around, but One he did well. In 18 seconds. Richard and Rocker get into the arena. Richard Abrokwa, aka Immortal, aka Big Rush. Um, throughout the journey, the audition taught me a whole lot through, uh, to the fi final eliminator, and I thought, I thought about working on my own self. So, coming in to the main show, I had to do one or two things to improve on my own self. I think that has been my success story. Today being an eviction day, everybody is capable of giving out the best. And I'm here to give out my best as well. Though we are, we are all here to do our best and we are waiting to see what goes. I think the grounds alone, we are, when we are on the grounds, we know what to do. I think the, the event that we are about to do is all new thing together. It's not a normal gym thing that you would want to do at the gym. So it just goes with how... We, I've been watching several videos about it and I think I have equipped myself on one or two techniques to go about it. So we see what goes. Let us see whether he will be able to and surprise us with this particular high. event as well. The Keck Talk. <coughs> Let's go, Richard. Ah, with a bit, a bit of technical astuteness, he would be able to get there. You are not supposed to be diving. You are supposed to be standing upright and be able to hoist this over the elevated head -o. wow i think that it has to do with the technique and not the strength some of the athletes i mean five of them have been able to get it over so we expect that the rest of the athletes will be able to ride now they are paddling their legs and all that you really don't know what they intend to achieve but hey Commissioner Dan is looking at his time. All right, so instead of them hoisting it over the head of the rather scoring. All right, so that was really, really exciting, wasn't it? That was the Keck Tours. And like I told you, experience will tell. Bright has been here, he's done that, he's seen it off, and it looks as if he's training for some of these things. And he's won the first challenge of the day. He has started well, but will he end well? And how will the other challenges also spring surprises or basically cause upsets? Because that's exactly what we're looking for here in this knockout competition. Again, I say knockout because today we are evicting one of these, um, you know, challenges or contestants. Who will it be between these 10 gentlemen? One will go home, only nine will be remaining in the remainder of this particular um, season of Ghana's Strongest, especially as we are getting into the eviction episodes. Remember, it is going to be uh, very, very demanding of these contestants. And uh, I'm not the one who sets the rules as the commissioners. Dan Budu for Stabafo, they'll be doing justice to these gentlemen. For me, 
I hold the microphone and I bring you the information and the facts as uh, and when they come in. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go for another commercial break. When we come back, we're bringing you another challenge. This program, once again, is sponsored by Gassem Cement, Mixi Choco, Deluxe Paints, and Dragnet. We'll be right back. Gassim, with over 50 years of experience, has various grades for various jobs. The Gassim Extra 42.5N is suitable for ultra-high strength structural application like bridges, dams and high-rise buildings. The Gassim Super Strong 42.5R was made for high structural applications like precast concrete and block manufacturing. The Gassim Super Rapid 32.5R is here for normal building foundations like strip foundation and other ordinary concrete works. The Gassim Super Cool 32.5N is best for all block laying, tiling and other mortar works. Never believe that one grade of cement can be used for all jobs. Choose Gassim Cement always. Gassim, four cement grades, excellent customer value. Gassim, the nation builder. When on campus and not well, I worry no more. Thanks to Dragnet. With the Dragnet app, I can chat with a pharmacist anytime for my medications and they are delivered to me right here on campus. I am a trader. If I need drugs, I cannot leave my goods and visit the pharmacy. All I need to do is click on the call feature on the Dragnet app and I speak with the pharmacist. The drugs are delivered to me right here. Dragnet. As a businessman, moving around to search for my medication could be very frustrating. But now, with the Dragnet app, I'm able to upload all my prescriptions and have them delivered to me wherever I am. The Dragnet app also allows me to order refills for my mother to treat her chronic illness. Dragnet delivers all the medications to her on time. It's so reliable and convenient. Download the Dragnet app from the Google Play Store or App Store. Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. Tell me what makes it choco hot. Makes it choco hot. Coco wamo. Of course, this way. This is a I don't know. What? Manji school for Nisiko. They are the future generation. And now five guys say Omo nyina jomo wallet Manji ubieska. Me chani kukra. What? I don't know how. Come on, you chani kulo. You chani hot. This is makes it choco and a coffee. Some things are best taken hot, like delicious creamy mixing. Mm. <clears throat> Grammy, and the mini scow. Master, with all due respect, and now I'm Hey, Mix it choco now in a new pack with a great new taste. Mix it choco, mix it coffee. Channel hot. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome back here to TVT's Ghana Strongest 2023 edition with me, Thierry Nyan. Ten men still remain in the competition, but after this episode, only nine will be going into the next stage. Who will it be and who will be dropping out? The next three challenges will be telling us and giving us a lot of information about this particular thing. And so let's wait to see who will go home today and who stays. The next challenge, ladies and gentlemen, is the medley. And all ten of them will be participating in this one. Let's see how they do. Mr. Ebenezer Amos kindly get into the arena. Listen to instructions from Commissioner Dan. Okay. So a 50 kilogram weight of luck on his right shoulder and a 60 kilogram Dumbbell is what he's about to contend with. With the ever draining sand in the beach. He is Mr. Amos Ebenezer chilling 
is gradually getting to the finish line. He's a bit wobbly. It is only natural that he would be because we are the beats and the rains are in, of course. Drop it down and take the two dumbbells. Go. The sea Go. has also right. sucked the terrain up. Now he would have to take the kegs and get round the arena. He's gradually getting there. He will definitely get there. Stamina is of the essence. I like the look on his face when you are a strong man. Endurance, stamina, determination, resilience, an unrelenting attitude, iron mindedness, and what have you. He's in a walking pace right now, but he's never going to give up. He has two minutes. That is what determines whether you deserve to be called Ghana's strongest or not. Mr. Ebenezer Amos is grinding. He is grinding. Grinding. Now these are the holes. Let us put our hands together for him. One minute, 42 seconds. Holy smoke. One minute and 42 seconds. All right, next, ladies and gentlemen, is the turn of Mr. Godfrey Alcobilla. <laughs> All right, so it's the turn of Mr. Godfrey Alcobilla. 50 kilograms of weight on his left shoulder, 60 kg of dumbbell. In his right hand, he would have to get all over to the end of the arena and then come back. With that weight after that, he would have to take the cactus. 25, 25 kilograms each in his hand. He's almost at a halfway mark with a combined weight of 110 kilograms. Whoa. He is getting there. Ha. The quad muscles. The calf muscles, his stamina, his endurance is actually being put to test right now. Right, he's been able to get it. He's dropped the first stanzas off challenges. Now he's carried 225 kilograms in his hand. Whoa, his pace is admirable. Right. Let's go, Mr. Corbilla. Mr. Akobila, Godfred Akobila. His time would be very impressive from what I see. In seconds. This is impressive. One minute and 19 seconds. Next, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Abbas Salu. Let's go, Mr. Abbas Salu. Perfectly executed. All right, so Mujay, Mujay, Mujay Abbas, Mujay Salu. Salu, let's do this. Salu, you should be able to prove the doubt is wrong that. You just don't have long limbs, but you have stamina and endurance as well. Whoa, that is the strength of a man. Not the strength of the faint-hearted. Let us go, Mr. Salu. Yes, now he knows that time is of the essence. A bit wobbly, a bit gingerly. But hey, this gentleman has what it takes. Look at his shoulder muscles. Wow, so very upright. His steps, so very admirable. But he's not getting there yet. Finally! <laughs> One minute, four seconds. One minute, four seconds. Can you believe that? One minute and four seconds. Yes! All right. Ivan Tobiaku. Commissioner Dan is ready. Let's go. I'm not hearing you. All right, let's go. Tovyeku. Tovyeku time is of the essence. You need to get your balance right. 
Somebody had just started control. Control. Wow. This is the first time that he's contending with anything like that. And he's realized that it is no mincemeat. Right? He's been able to get a technique right. 50 kilograms of a log on his left shoulder. He has 60 kilograms of dumbbell in his right hand. And gradually he's dragging a bit of a limp. Not wobbly because he had very solid legs. But he's grinding to the finishing line. All right, so Mr. Tobiaku has been able to drop the first badge of challenges for this medley. Now he has 225 kilograms. That should be pretty lightweight, but whether he has the lower body strength, the quad muscles, of course his hamstring should be performing optimally. His calf muscles should be performing optimally as well. But this should run in tandem, of course, with his cardiac strength. He is getting there. He's not going to give up. Resilience, an unrelenting attitude, determination. Whoa, finally. I like the way he has bent over. One minute, 41 seconds. One minute. 41 seconds. Oh, that is impressive. One minute and 41 seconds. Wow. All right, Mr. NS Arthur. Get into the arena. All right, so Mr. NS Let's go. The time is two minutes. Please be mindful. And the time that you are supposed to beat is one minute and four seconds. He's got it over onto his right shoulder. That is the lock. If he doesn't get his balance right, that is going to be a hassle. Mr. NS Arthur. He is dragging. He is wobbly. A little bit gingerly, without a doubt. He's been able to pass the halfway mark. Gradually getting to the finish line. Now he is limping. Wow. NS has dropped it. Limpy. Limpy Ernesto. Right. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, twenty five in his hand. That is how beautiful Ghana Strongest is. You can see the strain. The frown, the determination on their faces is a mixed bag. Now these are the walking pace. He has dropped it. Us merchant kakra. Insuming day. Oh man. Okay. So he was able to get to the one and a half stage mark of the distance, if I'm allowed to say that. Mr. Balotelli. Right, he has been able to get his balance right now. But irrespective of what your balance is, you have to contend with a very sucky ground. We are the big. And the waves has just been bashing the ground. A clear case of force majeure. 
but there's a bit of a respite. So the athletes are bringing up their peak performance. Wow. Wow, Balu. Wow, his flexibility is admirable. Steady. Right. Hey. Balu, Balu. Oh, God. I think God saved him this time. God actually saved him this time. I can't see any. Balo, I can't see any God yet. Why are you I can't see any. It won't catch you when you see. Well, Balo, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Vim. Vim, Balo. Vim, Balo. Vim, Balo. Wow. One minute, 28 seconds. One minute, 28 seconds, Balo. Bryce Apia has obviously improved this season and uh, this will be another one of the challenges that he wants to remind everyone including his colleagues that this year he will go a step further. Bryce Apia going through the paces really well. About 80 kg on his shoulder. Slightly less in his hand. And this is the medley. He's got 25 kilograms in each hand, 50 in total, and he's running with it. He's trying to beat the mark set by Abbas Salu. One minute, four seconds. Will he do that? One minute, 11 seconds. One minute, 11 seconds. He was unable to do this, but still tremendously impressive. Bright up here. Swat. Four objects to run with to the finish line, but two at a time. And it's a total of 120 meters. 60 meters with each pair. Jeffrey Ekufu. The beach sands slowing him down. Some people choose to call it the quick sands. Whether you like it or not, you can never be quick in this. But that's a huge man with weight on his body and still going on strong, Jeffrey Ekufu. This is the lighter pair of this race. So this is where we should see the Usain Bolt in you. This is where we see the Asafa Pearl in you. Is it showing? What try Aziz Zakari crying do? If you see him run with this weight, you might think this is easy to do, but that's 50 kilograms he's toying with right there, and he goes straight to ground. Doesn't care, it's all about sand. One minute, 18 seconds. One minute, 18 seconds. He's seen the pitch today, but he's going strong. Not sick and ready to make an impression. It's an eviction episode. One of these gentlemen will go home today. Who will it be? We are testing their pace and their endurance in this hot quicksands. All right, so he is definitely getting to the halfway mark with a first set of challenges. 50 kilograms on his shoulder and 60 kilograms are combined with of 110 kg gradually steadily he's grinding but he's getting all the way 
to the finish, Mac. All right. The starting line. All right. So he has to contend with 25 kilograms of weight right now. In his hand, combined weight of 50. So that would give you an accumulated weight of 160 kilograms in all. Whoa. That is mammoth. That is ginormous. That is enormous. Good people. Look at him. Sheer determination is what you can see in his face. Beautifully executed. One Whoa. Minute, 31 seconds. One minute what? 31 seconds. Whoa, but his execution was absolutely top draw. He needs to be applauded. <laughs> All right, so Richard Abrakwa. 50 kilograms on his left shoulder, 60 kilograms in his hand, right? He needs to get his balance, right? Right, you can see his quad muscles are well flexed, an indication that his lower body strength is top draw, but that is not all we need when it comes to Ghana's strongest, right? Because your legs, your shoulders, your deltoids, your trapezium muscles, your pectoral muscles, they are all in, they are all working, running in tandem with each other. He's dropped the first set. He has 25 kilograms in his hand right now, 50 kg in total. The fine gentleman from Tadi, his determination, I keep saying, is admirable. Get it to the finish line. Let's go. Gradually, he gets there. One minute, 17 seconds. Impressive. Oh, my word. One minute and 17 seconds. Hey, Tadi. Orokodo. Another set of electrifying challenges have been set and done. And uh, it's Abbas Salu who came up tops with 1 minute 04 seconds. And he's done this and done this brilliantly. Of course, people came very, very close to him. But when it comes to time, split seconds are very, very important. And that's how he won this particular um, you know, medley race. And we'll be going straight into the third challenge. But we'll be, going, we'll be doing that. After the break, this program is brought to you by Gassem, Cement the Nation Builder, Mixi Choco, they say Chan Hot Dragnet, and then the Luxy Pain. We'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Gassem, with over 50 years of experience, has various grades for various jobs. The Gassem Extra 42.5N is suitable for ultra high strength structural application like bridges dams and high-rise buildings. The Gassem Super Strong 42.5R was made for high structural applications like precast concrete and block manufacturing. The Gassem Super Rapid 32.5R is here for normal building foundations like strip foundation and other ordinary concrete works. The Gassem Super Cool 32.5N is best for all block laying, tiling and other mortar works. Never believe that one grade of cement can be used for all jobs. Choose Gassem Cement always. Gassem, four cement grades, excellent customer value. Gassem, the nation builder. <laughs> what the big mistake? <laughs> Oga, you don't make mistake, yo. Oga, oh sorry, you don't know. Why every time you paint your house now? Ah, well, my house shine like your own now, shoe. Oh, gay gay. Johnny just come. My brother, when you go to back the page, don't go left, don't go right. Go straight and grab the luxury I like to paint. Uh-uh. Well, hello. Oh, Either <laughs> rain or shine. You tell it here. I've been a boxing champion for over 20 years and used the luxury acrylic paint for over 12 years. And I can tell you, it's still the best. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint the champion. champion. Tell me what makes it choco. Hot. Mixi choco, Tani hot, coco, woman, Tani hot, 
what? Of course, you is way. Nessie say, yeah, I don't know. What? Manji school for Nessie Kau. They are the future generation. And now five guys will say, "Omu nyina, jamu wallet, Manji ubieska." Me chani kukra. What? I tell you how. Come on, you chani kulo. You chani hot. It's a mixy joke. I'm not happy. Chani hot back away. Some things are best taken hot, like delicious creamy mixy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Grammy, and the miniscal. Master, with all due respect, and now I'm Hey, Sanash. Mixy Choco now in a new pack with a great new taste. Mixy Choco, Mixy Coffee, Channel Hot. This advert is FDA approved. Thank you very much for staying with us here on TV3. We're still bringing you Ghana's strongest, and I know you're enjoying the show wherever you're watching this. We are getting straight into the third challenge, and it is the last man standing. It is an interesting uh, challenge, and uh, I want you to just experience it for yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the athletes, one after the other, to come and try their hands on being the last man standing. Who will it be? In this particular one, it is not you racing against time, but making sure your endurance levels is pretty much high. First challenger, ladies and gentlemen, is the man from the West. He says he will be the best this season. Ebenezer Amos, chilling. Ebenezer Amos, two of these Gassem stones over the barrier. support whatever it is his colleagues are just watching on he's done three of the stones one remaining and it's 80 kilograms and finally he's been able to grab this and it's one stone on top of the other 45 seconds Akubila, let's see you do it you didn't win the first you didn't win the second so you must make an impression here. Hey, I don't know often as a A for GT. It gets a lot heavier. It gets a lot heavier, but he's still going easily. How many seconds? 15 seconds. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. 15 seconds. All right, so Abbas Salu struggles with the first, but he's able to um, get it over the bar. This is another one, and it's 50 kg. This is another difficult one. 70 kg now to 80 kg. How many seconds will he need? Akobila has already set the tone with 15 seconds. Can he do it already? I think he's gone past 15 seconds, but obviously better than the 45. So it's 28 seconds, Abbas Salu. 28 seconds. Evans was hurrying through the gears. He needed to slow down and take it one step at a time. He's done that. 45 down, 50 down, 70 next. This one is under the bar. This one is under the bar. It's a free kick. You'd have to retake it. He's already struggling with 80. He's done that. Evans has shot himself in the foot, rushing through these stones and uh, in. And it's Arthur, stand by. And it's Arthur, stand by. Evans lifts at the third once again and let it fly and says, I cannot do it again. Alright, 
Enzo Erez Atta. He started well, taking the 45 kg. Right, so 70 kg is next. And he's done that well as well. It's about time. So far better than Evans Tovioku. Kilograms. 80 kg, says Davida. I'm done. 26 seconds for three of the reps. 23 seconds for three of the reps. So I'm sure by now you're wondering what we are doing here. Well, don't be confused. You're still watching Ghana's Strongest right here on TV3. My name is Theo Nyan. I still remain your host. And, you know, you can't control nature, can you? And so when we were rudely interrupted, you know, by nature, I'm talking about the heavy downpour uh, when we were bringing you the show, um, what it meant was we needed to improvise. And so what we are doing is bringing you, uh, you know, some assets by the athletes themselves, what they've experienced in the first couple of um, episodes as of now. The, you know what they've experienced um, you know the challenges and just how tough it's been this season or maybe easy for some of them they would be talking about the challenges they'll be talking about the, the the rules by these commissioners and generally how the show has been for them so let's just take a listen to these athletes come back and then we'll be delving more into the remainder of this episode my name is Godfrey Kobila and um the experience so far this season has been very, very tough and as always, um, it's no different from the previous uh, seasons I've competed in. And uh, the first two episodes, I think the first one, the, first, the very first episode this season was very challenging because I wasn't fully fit, I wasn't feeling very well, so I, I struggled a lot that very day. But um, the second one, I won. And today I was... On the verge of winning again because I know what I was about to do, but due to the rain, um, we could we could not continue. So that's my experience so far this season. We completed two uh, two events today. We were on the third the third event today, and uh, some of the, some of us completed by then. Uh, others couldn't because of the rain. We were supposed to do four events today, but we managed to complete only two events the, the third one some of us did the others couldn't it was because of the rain i know when it comes to ghana strongest it's not always about what you can lift but it's about your your heart so i train basically to 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 uh, to be able to conquer those events so i knew that event was going to be tiring but then I pulled through. I was about to, to repeat what I did last week, uh, but had it not been the rain, but um, I know my colleagues are very strong, so I am doing everything possible to maintain it, to, to maintain the, the winning to the very uh, last episode. That's it, the final. My message to the fans is quite clear and simple. I am in to win and I'll win it this very year. My name is Amos Ebenezer. You can call me Chilling from Takadi. So um, this season on the first episode, I was, I was about like, I, 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 I won already, but I mean, uh, I just did some mistakes, which, which are not supposed to be, I mean, then it to be made again. And the second episode too, I tell you, I was, I, I was feeling very dizzy, especially when, when, I, when I carried the dark walk, um, I wasn't, I wasn't myself. That's why I, I couldn't, I couldn't I mean, compete. But let's see. Um, next, uh, next episode, I'm going to pull up. Today's episode, um, I would say it's, 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 it's a very tough one, and I, I didn't find it very um, easy because I'm not, I'm, I, I would say I'm not that good at, at them. But it's, it's, it's a show, and anything that comes, we take it like that. The characters, I wasn't expecting. Um, 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 that, 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 that is what I got, but. It's all good. Uh, I, I think I I try to I try only one. The 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 the, the spread that I wanted to I mean used in the in the game wasn't what what happened. Okay, so as I said um as I said it at Teshi last last episode that 
my friends, I mean, keep coming, support me because I'm going to win every every single episode. But it, it didn't happen like that today because of the rain. And next episode, I'm going to I'm going to win. from from next episode out to the tenth episode, expect nothing but the first from me. If if I don't be in the rain, the sack how how, how I wanted to like I w I would run with the sack. But because of the rain, we couldn't finish the the sacre, the sacre. So it's it's quite unfortunate. So let's take it like that. But because it was because of the rain that we didn't do the sack. If we have done the sack, I would have won that one hands down because I was very prepared for that one. Uh, my message to my fans is very, I mean, simple. This time around, no, like no, 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 darling. I'm winning this um this season hands down. So they should keep coming and support the Zemos. My name is Godfrey Taki, aka Balotelli on God. Yeah. Um, so far, we've done some of the events. We start from Osu and went to Teshi. Um, the Osu uh, did not get some things well, which is the famous work. It was my first time and it wasn't easy. You know, if sometimes you're at home, you think it's easy, but when you get there, you get to know it's not easy. So, I went and called myself and I said, come on, Teshi, I'm going to prove my best. And I'm so grateful to prove my best at Teshi as much as possible. So I'm grateful and ever ready for the next challenges. As today we were doing the challenges, you know, the sea was disturbing us a little bit and the rain as well. So we were able to do two events and we couldn't do two. I feel so bad because today I'm really, really, really on fire, you know, to cover all my points that I was not able to get out of the soup. So today, as you can see, my eyes red like a hungry lion. So I was very sad that the rain has stopped us. I'm not happy. All my fans and everybody can see it that Balotelli is on fire. But next time around, let's see what will happen. It's going to be crazy than today. The Kertos is also uh, my first time trying that event, you know. I've never and ever tried that challenge before. But I've learned some mistakes today and tomorrow, next time when I come again, I'm going to do my best. And the next one, which is the downburst and the other one that I cut my shoulder, um, I do my best because, you know, not everybody that I've reached where I've reached. I was able to finish it, and I'm so grateful to finish it as well. I would like to thank TV3 and our sponsors, Gassem and Missy Choco, all of them. Because without them, we would not get easy to do this show. And all my fans from Ho, Accra, Ada, guys, I love you all. And I'm not going home. Keep on having that fun and the trust and the belief in me. We are going to the end. Watch out for me, Balotelli. It's going to be fire. On God, I promise. They will be the Yawa of the day. Yo, Ghana, this is your boy Fit Salu. And I'm here once again. The event has been much successful. And so far, we are on the third episode. The first episode was very great for me, I would say, because I was first and I had a very good time with that one. The second episode, I wouldn't say was bad for me, because it's one of those things. It's a game, and it's not every time you are going to have the best out of it. Sometimes you have your best, sometimes you have half of it, and sometimes to it will be very hard to even get out of it. So the second episode wasn't really the best for me. I had some challenges, I was slow and all that. But then I'm just hoping to put in much effort in this third episode. So for today's episode, I had a very bad, bad start, which was a cat toss. It was so unusual of me, but it's a game and anything can happen. I had no choice than to bring my e-game on, then just give out my best as you already know me for it. So 
that was the outcome i wasn't really ready for the first event but the second and third i brought my e-game on and i gave him my best so with the last man standing i i had a little difficulties and all that so i would say the stone being heavy and it's being in the sun sand all over and everything it was making it much slippery and everything so it was something else but as an athlete or as a competitor you always have to find a way i did what i was supposed to do and i think it was the best for me as the game went on there was rain and we couldn't even finish the events so there was no eviction and every, there was no eviction so i think i i still have a chance to prove i'm the champion so i'm just hoping it's not like i'm even hoping i'm going to be the champion for the next episode so all my fans should just watch out it's a different fit salute you are seeing next week on the show my name is edwin kennedy and um, I'm from Kaswa, but I'm representing Greater Accra region. And uh, this is um, Ghana Strongest 2023 audition. So far, when we started uh, the, the episode, and I really have a, a little challenges. And um, I think um, I'm having a little problem. Then the problem is um, uh, my speed. That is the only problem that I'm having. But I'm able to lift the weight. But the only thing I'm having is my speed. But I think I'm, I'm going to work on it. That's the only problem that I'm facing now. And I think I'm going to do better. The challenges that I'm having today is that um, with the uh, Ketos, um, because I was so stressed I was so tired, so today I was supposed to did better. So I was surprised why I was not able to do the cat kettles. But I think um, next time I'm going to do better. Comparing last year to this year, and I think um, last year I did very well. I did very, very, very well last year. That's the reason why I come, I, I come back this year. Most of the game I speak game, I know, and I think um, I'm going to work uh, out of it because I can see that most of the game, uh, I, I think uh, it's a cardio work and, uh, you know, this strongest uh, competition is all about your speed and your endurance. I want to tell my fans that um, they shouldn't worry and uh, this year I'm going to do better. I'm, I'm going to put my effort to get into final. My name is Tobio Evans, properly known as Champion GH or the Awoda. I'm from Tepa and I live in Kumasi. So far the episode that we have done is my first time in the main show and some of the challenges in the episode about the dark walk and it's not easy, but I did my best. And I know it's my first time and I will, I will never give up because I love the game. And I want to see myself as a, the next strongest man in Ghana. So I have already gotten some experience on the episode that I've done and the next, or. Uh, the other episode that we've been doing, I wish I can do my best and I will never give up because anytime I lose and go back, I learn more about and I push hard. The challenges we made for today about the last man standing, I feel myself like I can do more better than what I was expecting to do. But in the game and it's my first time like I talk but I know any time I will meet that last man standing I know it will be great I can say today is 
my bad day, the rain has been good to me because when I was coming, I, I really trust myself and the rain has helped me because some of the challenges was my first time and I couldn't take it easy. So I would say the rain has helped me a lot. I need to prepare well because I've re I've I've already experienced some of the things today. It was my, it was my first time and and I know the rain have helped me, but I won't be a bit today. I was expecting to be one of the part of first to take, but what I was seeing that I can be part of even first to fifth class. As of the the, the long and the down bear race. In fact, now I wish myself to be be on time, but my speed was even slow. So what I will say is, I, I'm, I'm going to prepare for next week, and I will do my best. There are days of man, champion GH. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone, was in from my people in Havana, Tepa, and Amasia South, Manso, and even Kumasi. As your boy GH, you already have trust in me that your boy will make it. And I will, I, I will thank everyone, especially my boss, Tony One. She will expect the best from me. It has not been easy. Um, my first competition. And this year is my first time. And the first one held in Osu. I picked balloting, I picked one, and it was my first time. So, a, a little pressure, tension, the exposure was low, and all that. So, I couldn't try. But I got home and I came back, and I was like, no, there's no excuses. I should just try my best. So, our second week of the episode at uh, Teshin. I had to trash everything and come in as a strong man because it's a strong man competition. So I find a way out. And the key is there's no excuses. Just do your best. Whatever happens, it happens. So I find a way out and I did my best. My injury in Teshin, probably, I can say it isn't deliberate. We, we all want to win and we all want to become the first and everybody is proving everybody right it's just happening it's a normal thing because it's a game it's a normal thing there's this there's no need for me to be thinking else thing or something i just went in my i just put in all effort to to become the best and initially it didn't happen like that but i think it's i need more experience to finish up next time so it's normal I felt bad as I as it happened the show has been well organized um, there's ambulance over there who took me to the hospital and I, 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 I was fully I mean cared of with dragnets they are the best one of the best as I used to say, there's no excuses. For the sake of dragnets, I recovered so quickly. I initially I wasn't expecting I mean me to be good in the tech talks. But I did my best. And even my colleagues were like, wow, how did I recover so quick like that? I was like, yeah. Because I had a very good medication. I think they are the best. The dumbbell and the lock. Chale, it, it, it isn't easy. The sun walking, I mean, it isn't easy. This is a real challenge. This is a competition. I think I faced it. And I, I couldn't have a chance to um, take part in the last man standing. And it, it really helped me in a way. The rain failed, but it really helped me. It failed, but it really helped me because I was so weak. After doing the 
log uh, the log and the dumbbell race. So all the same, it's the best. I think this is the best platform to, I mean, advertise myself as a much more celebrity. So everybody should watch me, my fans and everyone. This is the year, I mean, a new person will come and take it. And I think I'm the one. So just watch out. I want to save that record. I'm Richard Abroco, aka Big Rush, aka Immortal. I would say there has been a bit of challenge. I would go in for the experience factor because being a rookie, it has been a challenge with some of the events, especially the Gassem tablets. I think day in, day out, we are learning it, so coming back or something, we, are, we have to, we have a new experience every day and we will continue to learn on that as well to improve our own self. On the first episode, um, after they mentioned the five, five men out, I think I went behind this scene to check on my results to know how, where I placed and how to improve on myself. And I think I got to an information that I was on the sixth position. Um, I wasn't though much impressed, but I impressed. I I said it to I said it to upon myself to impress on because being a rookie, as I said in the game, there will be much experience that it wouldn't fit with you. The second episode, in fact, I didn't really have my day on that day, but I was so happy dealing with the um, the dark walk. I think I was I placed first in the dark walk and. I was so happy on that, though I didn't have the best of my performance in the day. But I, I, it's always normal being a first timer in the game. Within the game, I've got to realize that there is no giving up in this game. So the one thing I take to motivate myself, no matter how you are failing, you have to still push up to impress your own self. Today, I think starting the game, we did the keg toss and. I had a challenge with the kick. Going in, I thought I would take it easy because I, I have a bit of upper strength with, with my, on my shoulder. So I thought I would get it, but I tried and tried and it didn't work out. But that didn't really get me down. I needed to improve on other events. So I was so determined to come back on my feet. I think I had a cool time with the dumbbell medley. Um, I was quite impressed with that and I was hoping to get a much better on the the last man standing event but unfortunately the rain has to disturb and we couldn't do anything about it so though it didn't come on but I was so determined to get my best in the game. I really want to thank, thank everyone who has been supporting me financially Spiritually, I think that the prayers are really working out and I would want to speak to my fans that they should come down. Though the game isn't as when you are backstage, you see it. There is much <laughs> to learn in the game. Coming, coming, coming into the game, I thought it was so simple like that. But when you are in, you get to realize that now it's a different thing altogether. Some will sit back and say, oh, you, you couldn't complete this, you couldn't do this, but... <laughs> Sometimes you have to go through the stress. The stress wouldn't even want, permit you to do what you even think you can do. So I think my fans should expect more. They should rather calm down and expect. I think I will deal with my best and see how the coming events goes on. I would want to even impress them as determined I was. So I would do my best to improve on myself. My name is Bright Apia the only policeman in Ghana's strongest. You can call me the SWAT man. The experience I had in the two episodes, uh, honestly, it was very great. And as you can see, this time around, my starting point is being improved. As you can see from the previous, uh, previous years, always my starting point has been slow with the first episode i was second and with the second episode i was also second uh, it has been an improvement a massive one and hoping to get a first on my next episode today's challenge was very very great as you can see there has been an improvement on the cactus especially with me during the uh, 
the previous years, cactus has been my problem. So I trained hard for it. I trained towards it and now I know there has been an improvement. So as you can see, I was even first during the cactus throw. And on the second challenge too, I was second. If not had been the rain, I think I would have gotten the first position in this uh, episode. Honestly, I wasn't happy at all about the rain because uh, my plan was to be at the first position because as you can see, I was first on the uh, the cactus, second on the, the medley. So I was planning to be or to get first position on the last man standing and then the sack race just to be on the top. I don't want to talk about eviction because uh, eviction is not part of my problem right now because I know I am going for the finals and my problem or my target is to go for the title not for eviction so eviction is, is none of my business this time around the whole police administration is looking at me I have trained and trained very well and I'm grabbing the belt for the police, the entire police service. This time around, I'm going to make my boss very proud. My name is Ernest Arthur. Because of the challenges, the marriage is still being for the last, last week event. So I do the two challenges now today, but we are going to do the next week. I'm going to work out and train how to come and perform good. The first, first also, the clean jack is doesn't go well for me because of I don't know how to throw it. I didn't learn it before. But I try my best for the next event. Because of the marriage is terrible, that's why I didn't perform. But I'm going to learn next to perform and going forward. Today's challenge was not easy, especially detectors. If you don't know how to throw it, sorry, you are not get you are not get it easy. The last man stand so I did train event. But the fourth one, I couldn't pick it because of my strength is well done. But I give shout outs to my fans to watch to betray because some, sometimes 4 o'clock Sundays, we are showing to TV3. But I want my fans to watch it, watch it and see how my performance grown up because I'm going to learn how to come out. Yeah, so you heard it from the boys themselves and trust me, it will be a really, really interesting season. Um, we have new challenges, um, you know, as the season wears on and these boys say they are ready. Um, you heard it from them. They've loved the experience so far. They say they are poised for action. So let's just see what they have for us in the remainder of, uh, you know, the season. This is still 2023 Ghana's Strongest. We'll be going for a quick commercial break. Remember, this program is brought to you by Mixi Choco, Chan Hot, and then also Gassem Cement, the nation builder, Dragnet, our official medical and health providers, and then Deluxe Paint. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here to Ghana's Strongest with me, Theo Inyan, but I'm not the man lifting the weights, as you can see, macho list. But the macho guys are still available, although, like I said earlier, because of nature, because of the heavy downpour, we were unable to, uh, you know, continue with the challenges in this episode. We were on our third challenge, and that was the last month standing, and uh, a few of the guys had tried their hands on it. Some had excelled, especially Godfrey Akubila doing his number 14 seconds. That was phenomenal. But remember... Um, others could not do this and it's all because once again because of the heavy downpour but what we will be bringing you here is uh, you know more going forward right here on TV3 you can trust us to deliver and of course we'll be delivering on these performances and displays that you've come to love on Ghana Strongest it was supposed to be an eviction show as well but yeah, I, I couldn't get myself wet uh, and so we couldn't bring you that particular um, you know, eviction um, part of the episode. What it means is that next week we'll be bringing you an eviction, or maybe two. I don't know. The commissioners will decide. So just stay tuned. The suspense is still lingering right here in this particular, um, you know, edition of Ghana's Strongest 2023. My name is Theo Inyan, and you can expect all 10 contestants next week, all of them, A to Z, performing. But by the end of next week, 
they'll be down to either nine or eight. Like I said, the prerogative of the commissioners, they'll decide if it's going to be one or two of the athletes going home. For now, this will be a wrap of uh, you know this episode. Um, this program has been brought to you by Gasem Cement, the nation builder. Big thank you to them. And also, if you're looking for a hot beverage, there's nothing better than Mixi Choco. They say Chan Hot. And then Dragnet, uh, official health providers. They are your top most um, you know online pharmacy right here in Ghana. If you're looking for a drug, no need driving to a pharmacy when you can just place a call and it, it will be delivered right at your doorstep. And then also Deluxe Paint, that pure finish to your apartment or to your house. Trust Deluxe, uh, you know, to bring the color out of your buildings. And so that'll be all for Ghana's Strongest in this episode. My name is Theo Nyan. I'll catch you same time next week. The most anticipated cooking reality show is making its return to your screen. It is Kitchen Wars Season 2. Old school alumni get ready to compete for yet another epic showdown. Which alumni will take over from WASP? The school that came in first place, West Africa! Get your ladles out, sharpen your knives, and be ready to battle it out. Interested alumni must be in a group of six to participate. Simply send your details 0531-906-281 to register and stand the chance of being the best alumni in the kitchen. It's Kitchen Wars Season 2. Kitchen Wars, your school fit cook. Kitchen Wars. Kitchen Wars, coming soon on TV3.